Thanks to modern AC PV cell technology, an Ingram Solar Energy Kit is all you need to start saving money on your utility bill. Our Solar Energy Kit includes the necessary components for operation, and thanks to pre-mounted microinverters, these solar panels are easier to install than ever before. To find out how much energy solar panels could generate for your home, we recommend you visit PVWattsV.1. PVWatts is a national renewable energy laboratory tool developed to allow average people to get performance estimates for grid-connected photovoltaic systems. PVWatts will give you a very conservative estimate of how many kilowatt hours an installed system may produce for you. These are Unirac solar mount rails. These rails attach to your roof and support AC PV panel weight. For this video, we'll show you rails installed in high profile mode. This is the method we recommend for an Ingram Solar Energy Kit. Before you can install the rails, the very first thing you should do is determine the best roof location for the array. Most homeowners will get best results if they install the solar panels facing due south, also called 180 degrees azimuth. This facing ensures the panels absorb the maximum amount of sunlight each day. If your home is not built to accommodate southward facing panel installation, angle the array to face due south as much as possible. While planning, do not forget to take into account tree shade over your home. Leaf cover blocks sunlight and can negatively impact performance on even a southward facing roof. Choose an installation zone free from obstruction. Attaching solar panel rails to an existing roof is not overly complicated. Anyone with roofing experience or good mechanical skills should be able to do it if they follow proper instruction and safety guidelines. However, before you start attaching any physical components, you need to fully complete your array installation plan. Complete the following steps. Bearing in mind the importance of facing due south, determine how much roof area you will need to dedicate to the solar array. Typical installation assumes 12 modules laid out in three rows of four modules apiece. Depending on your roof, you may have to modify this arrangement to suit your individual circumstances. First, measure the length and width of your ACPV modules. Next, Calculate the required array installation area based on the length and width of the typical module and how you plan to arrange them. Be sure to include in your calculations a small amount of spacing between each module. We recommend one inch, but refer to your owner's manual for specific spacing information. Now that you understand how the modules must be arranged, you can start preparing the roof for rail installation. With your layout plan in mind, locate the rafters underneath the roof tiles. You'll use them to support your array. Array footings should be connected directly to structural members whenever possible. Using chalk, mark horizontal and vertical lines on the roof to lay out the proposed module arrangement in line with the rafters. Following this grid will be necessary to ensure panels are aligned squarely and securely to your roof. Double check all your calculations, measurements, and chalk lines. Ensure everything is square and correct before you drill the first hole, not after. This component is called the flat flashing. Flat flashing is the physical bond between your support rails and your roof. To install the flat flashing, complete the following steps. Place the flashing where previously marked vertical and horizontal chalk lines intersect. This spot should be directly above a rafter. Begin with the lowest row. Center the flashing and drill a hole for the lag bolt. Try to center the hole as much as possible in the rafter to create solid support. Before you place the flashing, we recommend you coat the underside of the flashing with a silicon U for additional waterproofing. Slide the flashing under the next highest row of tiles. At this point, about half the flashing should be concealed by roof tile and half exposed. Line up the drill hole in the flashing and the roof tile. If you've done this correctly, the drill hole and the flashing should now be aligned with the previously made horizontal and vertical chalk lines. 
Ensure this is the case. Place the square aluminum piece concave side down, then the L foot, then the washer, and finally secure these components to the rafter with a lag bolt. Tighten as necessary. Complete the lowest row of flashing first, then proceed upward. If the installation calls for them, it's time to connect the splice bars to the solar rails. Slide the splice bars into the rail footing slots. Secure the splice bar on one end with two screws. You'll secure the other end when the rails are laid and connected to the L footings. When you later connect two rails via a splice bar, don't forget to connect them again with the weeb bonding jumper. The stainless steel flat washer, weeb, and the copper wire bonding jumper ensure a gas tight mechanical connection and a good electrical connection. This is critical to protecting your system against lightning strikes. For more information, please watch our weeb bonding jumper installation video. With the flashing secured to the roof, splice bars attached to our rails, and bonding jumpers ready, we can now begin placing the rails themselves. The rails are critical and must be installed correctly. Solar rail mounts attached to the flat flashing and the rafters via L footings. The rails may connect to either the upper or lower hole on an individual L foot. A lower hole connection will be lower profile and may be more aesthetically pleasing. A higher hole connection can be necessary to increase airflow across the panels in hotter climate conditions. To attach a rail mount to an L foot, complete the following steps. Place the 3 8 inch bolt into the rail footing slot. Slide the rail into the splice bar if there is one adjacent. Connect the splice rail with a weeb bonding jumper. Loosely attach the rail to the L foot with flange nuts. Ensure the rail is straight and square. Once you're sure the entire rail is straight and square and properly connected, you can tighten the flange nuts on the footings. Refer to your owner's manual to find out how much torque your footings require for proper installation. With the rails in place, you'll soon have your new solar array up and running. To find out how to install the ACPV modules and finish the job, be sure to watch our solar cell installation video.